itself. All right, guys, after years of fighting against the wonders of free distribution of music over the Internet, some mainstream musicians are finally starting to embrace the potential for endless business models when it comes, when it actually costs nothing to duplicate and then distribute your product. We are joined now, as Rebecca mentioned, by Brian Peterson, the founder of Bandbox.com, a new site that enables artists to get 100% of the music they sell. All the revenues go to them, guys, using Bandbox.com. Dot com's technology. First off, let me ask you, you know, we mentioned earlier, Eric mentioned I have a band, not the FBN band, but <laughs> my, Muddy Souls, and, uh, you know, we'd love to figure out how to get our music distributed without having to sign to a label. Are you the one, the guy that's supposed to hook me up and help me figure out how to make money, and I, then I won't be working at Happy anymore. I'm going to be a rock star, guys. We can get you out of the uh, studio and onto the stage. <laughs> Walk me through the model. Tell well, us how it's working. <laughs> Sure. So, so Bandbox just launched, as of today, the first free digital plus physical music store that not only gives you, the artist, 100% of the profits on digital sales, but also allows you to connect directly to the artist. And what I mean by that is, you know, you or, you know, the guy next door who recorded something in his basement or, you know, Taylor Swift has a new record coming out, you know, each one of you, as of today, can go back or Eric, can go back to bandbox.com, sign up for an account, upload your music, you know, set your pricing, and literally within a matter of minutes, you'll be selling your music across the internet uh, on any social network, blog, but, or, but, or but your Brian, websites. But, but talk about this, because I, I interview a lot of people who are, who are making music, and they say the only real way to get their music out there is through iTunes, and then you've got to cut them anyway, right? So. What exactly am I saving by going with your website? Sure. So Bandbox, you know, kind of picks up where iTunes leaves off. There's, there's really three core advantages to Bandbox versus iTunes. One is you're just going to make a lot more money. You know, when we're giving 100% of the profit back on digital sales, that can add up to, you know, from $100 to hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on, on who you are. You know, secondly, there's value... In, in owning that relationship with your fans. So, you know, versus iTunes, I don't know who bought my music through Bandbox. I know that a thousand people in St. Louis bought my new single. So I, I can uh, tour through there next time. Or, you know, that 99 cents, you know, is, is more than that to me through Bandbox because I have their email and address and I, and I can kind of, you know, foster that relationship. And over the course of you know, a couple of years, that, that could be a couple hundred dollars. Right, right. But, but Brian, my question is, okay, so I understand and that aspect of it, uh, you deal directly with your fans. How do you get the fans, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, like Taylor Swift, she's already a well-known name. You know, Cody has a venue with Happy Hour. Tell people to go look up his music on bandbox.com. Muddy Souls. Oh, thank you. Um, but, you know, what about the other people out there? How do they generate the marketing that comes with a record label? Do you do marketing for them as well? Well, that, that, that is the age-old question, you know, how do you get fans? Well, it's, it's we, we do and we don't. I mean, it's up to the artist to really have, you know, great music. You've got to have great music. You've got to have, um, you know, the, the kind of the relationship with those fans. But what we're, what we're doing, what we're telling artists is, hey, from day one, you know, Eric, Cody, as you guys, you know, build your fan base, you know that it's important to be able to sell direct and interact with those fans because they you know fans today want more than just you know I, I just have some music they want to know you know everything from what you ate to you know this morning for breakfast to you Brian, know what you're doing uh, yes. Brian, we just got about 10 seconds left you guys are supposed to make money okay. off of ad sales you don't I think Eric was hitting on the point that you got hundreds of millions of people using iTunes already how do you guys hit critical mass and make some money Sure. So we're, we already have artists such as Taylor Swift, you know, Paul Abdul, Keith Urban, Jewel. I mean, there's a number of acts that are telling us we need your service. So we make money on a percentage of physical goods, premium service, and then we have integrated brand sponsorship opportunities for folks like Coke or Nike. Brian, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Good luck. Thank you, guys. I wonder if yeah, band thank you can very give, much. Uh, guitar lessons. <laughs> Good. Oh, wow. Guitar, you ever been to myspace.com slash money sales? If you listen to a single song. I don't need to go.